church members paying money to walk through the door of prosperity. Ah, God, who do all this thing? Hi, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Please do well to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I have my brand new subscriber. Thank you for always being here. Kiss, kiss. So, guys, let's discuss this. You can see this video where a pastor actually brought in a wooden door. <laughs> A wooden door into the church, probably done by a carpenter, of course. Make sure that the wooden door stands, okay? And then the pastor actually passed through the wooden door, praying and telling the members of the church that as he's passing this door, it's a door of prosperity. So as you pass through the door, you should drop money. You can see people bending down. There's a basket over there where people are bending down to drop money. And he said it's the door of prosperity. See, eh? our pastors are even beginning to do miracles that Jesus Christ never did. Seriously. I don't know, and I don't know how members are so gullible in doing all these things. You are looking for prosperity. You want to prosper, but yet you leave your shop that you use and make money. You leave your business. You come and sit in, 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 in church and be dropping that same money that probably you would have invested. You will see business owners who make money after selling for like two months. The profits that they're supposed to go and add to their capital and make their shop to expand. Pastors will tell them, bring the profit to church. They'll go and drop the full profit. Maybe they started a business with maybe 100,000 naira and they made a profit of maybe 50,000 naira. Instead of them to add that 50,000 to the 100,000 and make the shop to expand, because if you go back to, to the market and buy 150,000 naira goods back into that store, it will expand the store because it will be more than the 100K goods you bought. They would rather take that 50K and go and drop in the church. So that God will prosper them. Tell me, how will how else will your shop grow if you don't use money to improve it? That's the problem so many Christians don't know. And I'm talking about the gullible Christians. You have seen a pathway where you can improve your store. God, you have told God to direct you. God has already directed you, told you. You have opened the store, right? You have opened a business. And then instead of your business, you have made profit. That profit is supposed to be back into that business, not you eating the profit or taking the profit to church. God never asks for things like that. Go to the Bible. Use the Bible as your reference. God never asks for things like that. Pastor telling to man, put money for prosperity door. Like, how? Oh, a common wooden door that was done by a carpenter. I said, how do people even reason this thing? I think things like this should go more. People need to understand better. That that money that you are putting in church like this, it's not better you improve it. Like, make, make sure you invest that money back into your business. Your business will grow. You're looking for prosperity. You're looking to prosper. But yet, you don't have that money in your hand. It's for you to you to tell, you know invest in a good business not sowing of seed all the time and now this is not me saying that it's not give to god no i am also somebody that is a christian i give to god i go to church and i give to god but it's not this way because sometimes some pastors have really really you know told people some certain lies and even the bible said that there will be a time when fake prophets will come there will be a time when there will be fake prophecies and it's beginning to show and i don't know that this is even the end time we should just be mindful of what we do these days. Know your God for yourself. Know the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible. If you read the Bible so much, there are certain things that when you are in church, you are even listening to, you know that this thing is not real. Which one is prosperity door again? A wooden paco door? What is going on in Africa? This is, you cannot see them in diaspora. I'm telling you, even though there are some churches in diaspora that still preach this prosperity, prosperity. I said, this is, it's all about prosperity. Nobody is preaching heaven anymore. Nobody is preaching heaven and hell, and hell as it's real. Nobody is saying that anymore. It's all about prosperity, prosperity. But there are ways you can prosper. There are ways you can prosper. If, invest in businesses. Invest in your job. You will see a business person close down their shop, close your store, and go and spend three hours on evening, uh, evening mass or evening service in their church. You go there, you close your shop, and you think you will prosper that way. How will sales come in? You go to church, time that you're supposed to sell that evening. You say you went, you close your store, you went to church. How will you prosper, madam? How will you prosper? You think prosperity is just by mouth. You think money will just fall from heaven. No, you have to walk towards it. And God will bless the works of your hands. Anyway, guys, please do well to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Bye for now.